Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Marissa Walzen. Well, temperatures outside today were right on average. We made it into the upper 40s inland, out along the coast in the 50s. And right now, we really haven't moved much from our high temperatures today. Along I-5, looking at the low to mid to even upper 40s in the Umpqua Basin, out along the coast in the low to mid 50s. But the real story is the return of the rain that is moving across the area right now. Taking a look at Storm Tracker 9 satellite and radar, showing plenty of showers moving on through. The heaviest rain will be this evening and into early tonight as the cold front moves on shore. Right now, the actual cold front is just offshore, but this again will move inland as we get into tonight. It's not only going to bring us some rain, but we also are looking at some gusty winds out along the coast. Again, we do have a high wind warning in effect, mainly reads port south. Winds will be out of the southwest 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts 50 to 70 miles per hour, and that is when that front moves on through, but expect winds to quickly die down once we get into tomorrow. But for most of us, it's mainly just going to be a wet night ahead and also into tomorrow morning for the morning commute. As you put things into motion into tonight, stopping at close to about midnight tonight, that's when we'll see the heaviest rain inland. Still looking at some showers out along the coast, but the yellows and oranges indicating some heavy rainfall. But if you notice, right along the Cascade Crest, there's not much pinks, purples, or whites that indicate some snowfall. That is because we will have a rather high freezing level, so expect even rain showers for most of tonight, even across the passes and at some of the higher elevations. Showers will continue in to tomorrow morning, though most of the activity will be right along the western slopes of the Cascades. And as we get into tomorrow afternoon, that's when we're going to see all the showers and across the area, but still keeping plenty of clouds. Now we're not done with the wet weather as we get into the weekend. As we zoom out, here comes the next system. This will bring us some rain showers as we get into Saturday and rain showers will continue throughout the entire day on Sunday as well. So we do again have a wet weekend ahead. Tomorrow, mainly wet the morning by the afternoon. That's when we begin to dry out mostly clouds skies with highs in the mid 50s. The Umco Basin, same thing, showers in the morning, cloudy conditions for the afternoon. Expect highs also in the mid 50s. The Cascades, mainly rain showers, could see a rainstorm mix across the passes early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, by the afternoon, also drying out before the rain does return Saturday morning. The Willamette Valley, same thing, rain showers in the morning, mostly cloudy skies for the afternoon, and expect highs into the low 50s. Here's a look at the seven day forecast for out along the coast. Expect rain showers to return again. Again, Saturday morning continuing into Sunday, but as you get into Monday and Tuesday, we'll see a break from the wet weather and we'll also have more sunshine as we get into Tuesday. The Umpqua Basin also rain showers tonight and into tomorrow morning. Dry though for Friday afternoon and into the evening. Rain does return Saturday and Sunday. For the Cascades, rain snow mix early Friday as you get into Saturday and Sunday though, looking at just rain across the passes and even at some of the higher elevations. Not good for those ski resorts. They definitely want to open and get some business. And I know a lot of people would like to ski and snowboard as well. And finally, for the Willamette Valley, rain again tonight. The heaviest will be after 8 o'clock, continuing into about 1 o'clock in the morning. But rain showers will continue after the front moves on through into Friday morning. We are dry, though, Friday afternoon and evening, but more rain Saturday and Sunday, guys. All righty.